The European Union really has two parts to the overall track and trace compliance requirement. It has a serialization requirement and it has a verification requirement. A manufacturer needs to serialize drug product at the smallest saleable unit and then they need to submit master data about that drug product and the serialization information related to that drug product to a central European hub. As the drug product moves into the supply chain, the primary responsibility for track and trace compliance then falls onto the dispensers, to the pharmacies, the chemists. Before they dispense the drug product, that pharmacy needs to scan the barcode to verify a couple of pieces of information. First off, to verify that the serial number was actually created and applied to a drug product. And the second is to check to find out if there's any adverse states that the drug product exists in. Maybe the drug product was marked as stolen or marked as potentially counterfeit. The manufacturer can set states related to the serial number into the European hub such that when the pharmacist scans the drug product, they can get information that says, is this a questionable drug product, not just does the serial number exist? The largest challenge for, for Europe is the volumes. When you're looking at the way products are, are packaged and sold in Europe, they're generally done at the, at the unit of sale level, meaning that the actual product that a patient picks up at a pharmacy is the final packaging that is usually produced, usually in blister packs, for the European markets. What that does is it, it significantly increases the, the volume of products that need to be serialized. And so in order for companies to be successful in Europe, they need to be cognizant that the scale of a European implementation from the data and transaction volume will be two, three, four, five X of what they're doing in the US. Right now the industry is looking at Q4 of 2018 to have to fully serialize and meet all the reporting, meet all the verification requirements for the EU. And so everybody's watching that very closely.